Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Ah, but you see, it is important not how you feel it. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. I already have. And she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gates, sir, is found guilty. No lazy dog. A thousand pardons. Oh, my apologies. This is death without reprieve. I may mention the book. Tom Gates. Put me back. Let Betty Slido, I'll save upon the transportation. If I can get more of my own stay in Eden. But we have a lot more goods into our lot here than any private event. And in truth, it's a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may be the common cause of business. We went to a one for that. I love the death we would expect.
I've got a bit of stage fright. A little dodge courage will put a bloom in your cheek. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Hold in my hand a key, and if this book is... ...be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. 
Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this re- That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Again, if you are, this is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No, but you should be. Do you? Never! And you like these odds? Of 
this. Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply... I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is... Provision for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. We're stuck with tin fish. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provision. Secure the hatch! Hate him. 
Have you been topside? Our ships have get an 